A donation made today to Brooks Rehab will be life changing for hundreds of people. The $25,000 donation is providing a new car to help patients with physical and cognitive injuries learn to drive. And no one knows more about the impact the donation will make than the man whose foundation gifted it. Andrew Badillo is on your side tonight. Andrew, you were there for this big donation today, and I know you had a chance to speak with Patrick Young. It's been two years since a car accident left former Florida Gators basketball star Patrick Young paralyzed from the waist down. He spent weeks rehabbing at Brooks, and on Monday he gave back to the program that taught him how to drive. For Patrick Young to get inside his blue Chevy Silverado, he has to lift his body into the driver's seat and use a lift to put his wheelchair in his truck bed. It's worth it. But to be able to just do it yourself, get up, go, just having the freedom to do so, um, it, changed, it changed everything for me. Paralyzed from the waist down, he uses a special handle. That's how I brake. And accelerate. When I did get my truck uh, modified uh, and I went to go pick it up, I was like, this is it? <laughs> No one, no one else is going to be here to like make sure I can drive this thing. Like anyone learning for the first time, it was nerve wracking, but Young had a good teacher. Patrick was probably your ideal patient. Peggy Gannon runs the program at Brooks, teaching patients like Young to drive. I had a great experience learning how to drive the vehicle and I was just like, man, this thing needs to get upgraded. The car, an old 2008 Chevy Impala, is no more, replacing it a new Toyota Camry thanks to a $25,000 donation from the Patrick Young Foundation. Knowing that it touches, you know, two to 300 people a year, uh, we want people to be comfortable. Gannon calls the donation humongous, thanks to her former patient. My mental health went up so much higher when I had the independence to drive again. Uh, Brooks says it hopes to have its new Camry outfitted to teach patients soon. As for Young, he says he feels great and is continuing to work towards his goal of being able to walk again. Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side. Wow.